speed and comfort, promising an enjoyable driving experience. In our video, we'll explore all the details and unique features of the Land Hopper. The upcoming baby Land Cruiser from Toyota is expected to feature a compact SUV footprint and is likely to offer hybrid and PHEV powertrains, with the possibility of an EV version as well. If you have an interest in automotive technologies and enjoy discovering new surprises, this video is a fantastic choice for you. As always, don't forget to subscribe and share our rich content. Let's dive into the world of the Land Hopper together. Even before going to the video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to support me. The Toyota Land Hopper, an epitome of automotive innovation, seamlessly combines cutting-edge technology with an exhilarating driving experience. This off-road marvel boasts a robust design, featuring a powerful engine that delivers both speed and efficiency. The Land Hopper's advanced suspension system ensures a smooth ride on diverse terrains, making it... Whether you're navigating urban streets or conquering rugged trails, the Toyota Land Hopper stands as a testament to Toyota's commitment to pushing boundaries in the world of off-road excellence. Buckle up and get ready to explore the extraordinary with the Land Hopper. According to recent reports, Toyota Land Hopper is set to be introduced as a new model expanding the Land Cruiser family. Toyota has signaled its preparation for the launch by filing trademark applications for the Land Hopper in recent days. The international market debut of the Land Hopper is expected to compete with rivals such as Suzuki Jimny and Ford Bronco Sport, and it might also be released in India. Based on render images from Auto Evolution, the Toyota Land Hopper exhibits a design and style inspired by the larger models of the Land Cruiser family. This SUV has a square and robust appearance with a prominent Toyota emblem on the front, featuring full LED round headlights and daytime running lights. The front bumper, made of black plastic, has large air intakes and a rectangular shape. In the side profile, the vehicle maintains a rectangular body shape with flat doors, staying true to the Land Cruiser models. The rear of the Land Hopper is speculated to have a sleek LED taillight connection, a sturdy bumper, and a protective plate. Beneath its rugged exterior design, it is believed that the Land Hopper will likely share the same platform as the Toyota Corolla Cross. This platform, internationally known as TNGAC, is a versatile platform that can accommodate various powertrain options, including petrol and hybrid engines. There are even rumors of a future electric version. While the exact powertrain configurations are not yet known, possibilities include a 1.8L petrol engine with a hybrid system and a 2.5L petrol engine with a 2.0L hybrid system. The Toyota Land Hopper is designed to attract buyers seeking a simple yet robust experience in an SUV crossover. It may resemble a smaller version of the Land Cruiser, but the expected monocoque structure might limit its capabilities compared to a body-on-frame construction. In terms of competition, the Land Hopper is poised to compete against compact adventure SUVs like the Ford Bronco Sport and Suzuki Jimny. With the introduction of the Toyota Land Hopper, the Land Cruiser family expands to cater to a broad audience looking for a reliable and versatile off-road vehicle. The Land Cruiser nameplate has served Toyota well over the years, garnering a legendary reputation for its durability, off-road prowess, and long-standing presence in diverse global markets. Currently, there are three distinct Land Cruiser models in production, the 300 series, the slightly smaller Prado, which will soon be succeeded by the 250 series, making its way to North America, and the classic 70 series. But Toyota's commitment to the Land Cruiser series doesn't end there. In addition to the seven-seater Land Cruiser C electric concept premiering at next week's Japan Mobility 2023, Toyota had previously hinted 
at a smaller, off-road focus at vehicle when they revealed the Land Cruiser 250 earlier this year. According to the latest reports, this new addition could potentially hit the market as early as the end of the next year. What will it be called? Several details remain to be cleared up, including the name. While there were rumors that it might be called the Land Hopper after Toyota secured the trademark, it has since been revealed that this name has been assigned to a three-wheeled electric bike concept. Toyota could potentially revive the iconic FJ Cruiser moniker or, or explore variants like FC Cruiser. Another option might involve using the Compact Cruiser name previously linked to the EV concept. Alternatively, Toyota could choose to continue using alphanumeric names, designating the larger model as the Land Cruiser 300 series, the Prado replacement as the 250 series, and the compact model as the Land Cruiser 50 or 60, among other possibilities. Regardless of what it's called, the new model appears to draw inspiration from the Land Cruiser's off-road capabilities while being built on a smaller platform, similar to the Ford Bronco Sport, which will be one of its prime competitors. During the presentation of the 2024 Land Cruiser 250, Toyota shared a teaser image that was somewhat reminiscent of the compact Cruiser EV concept. It is speculated that the production model will incorporate design elements from both the concept and the recently unveiled 2024 Land Cruiser. This fusion is expected to result in a vehicle featuring boxy styling, rugged bumpers, and body cladding, closely resembling the illustration we've included in this story, powertrain options. Moving our focus to the internals, Japan's best car, citing reliable sources, reported that it will be offered with both internal combustion only and hybrid powertrains. Furthermore, there is talk about the possibility of introducing a pure electric version, BEV, at a later stage. The precise powertrain options for the SUV have not been officially confirmed, leaving room for additional speculation. Toyota has a variety of engines at its disposal, with potential sources ranging from the Corolla Cross to the larger RAV4 and the Prius for enhanced power. In North America, the latter is available with a 2.0-liter four-cylinder hybrid gasoline engine that generates 194 HP, along with a plug-in hybrid variant producing 220 HP, both of which could be suitable candidates. Regardless of powertrain, all-wheel drive, AWD, will be standard across the range. In addition to its smaller size, this baby Land Cruiser is anticipated to come at a considerably more budget-friendly price point compared to the 2024 Land Cruiser, which kicks off at around $55,000 in the States. While it was initially reported to begin from around 3.0, 3.8 million yen in Japan, equivalent to $20,000 to $25,000 USD at current exchange rates, we believe it's more reasonable to expect a starting price ranging from $30,000 to $35,000 in North America.